Okay, I'm going to show you how to make the test part here. This is what we're going to do to assemble. We're going to scroll down to the bottom of your list. I'm outside of the names, so I'm in DDP, whatever your class is. And at the bottom here, we have practice assembling. I'm going to right click that and go to copy, right click, copy, and then you're going to choose your name. So for me, I'm going to do Corbett because that's my name, but you pick whichever folder is yours and hit copy. And then if you go back to your folder, there it is. There's the part. We can open that. Open it from your folder. Don't open up the original one. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put these parts together. The first thing you want to do is put the red part in this hole right here. So to do that, we're going to click Assemble, Joint. Assemble, top, middle, joint. Choose the bottom of the red thing. So I'm going to rotate around, zoom in on it. You want the dead center. So you should be able to, the center should be lit up. All right, hit the house. Then you want to zoom in on the bottom of this hole. So I'm going to rotate it. All right, so this, this is the top. We have to go down to the bottom, all right? You don't want the top of the hole, not that. You want the bottom of the hole. And the part should move over there. Hit OK. And then if we hit the house, now that part's locked in there. Repeat that. Assemble. Joint. Rotate it. Make sure you get the center. Rotate it. And then you want the bottom. Okay, hit the house. Now, how do we know that this actually worked? Because everything moves? Well, let's ground the green piece here, the base. So I'm going to click on the block so it lights up blue. See how it lit up blue? And then I'll right click it and choose ground right here. Right click, ground. And if this pops up, that means it moved at some point. That's fine. Just hit capture position. That uses the new spot you put it. All right. And now if I click and drag, nothing happens. I can't move it. Next, we're going to put these yellow pieces inside of the green, or put the yellow pieces inside the red tube. Assemble, joint. This time we're going to change it. I'm going to go to motion tab. See my motion tab right here? Go to my motion tab, and we're doing this one. This is rigid. But if we go next to it, right here, it's called revolute. You can't see because of my mouse, but that's revolute means that it spins. Nope, we don't want revolute. We want slider. Sorry, we want slider, this third one over. Choose slider, come back to position, otherwise you can't pick anything. All right, and we'll click on the center of that, and we'll rotate it at the center of the yellow one on the bottom. All right, don't worry that this piece moved, that's okay. Hit okay, it'll all go back to the way we had it. See that? Now this piece will slide in and out of there. Repeat that. Assemble, joint. It should still be on slider, it is, under motion. So I'll go back to position. And we'll click on the center of the red one. And we'll click on the center of the yellow one. And hit OK. okay. If you do it properly, you should have two of these that move up and down. It's OK, they come out. That's fine. Right. Next, we're going to put this blue piece on top of those, the blue blocks. Now, we're going to basically glue this on. So in order to glue it, we're going to do assemble, joint. We need to change our motion back to rigid because we're going to glue. Rigid's a glue. I'll click on the top of this. Well, I can't, I can't click on anything because I'm still on motion. So go to position, center. I'm going to scroll to the bottom. I'm going to do the center of my square right here. See the center of the square? And hit OK. Now, if I pull on the blue one, it moves the yellow one too. Now I need to glue the other yellow one to the blue one. So we'll do the same thing. Joint. It should be on rigid. I'm going to rotate. Middle of the blue one, middle of the yellow one. Hit OK. And now it should move them together if they're joined. And you can see there's the rigid joint there and there. And there's a slider joint down there and there. All right, hit the house. We're going to put this green piece on the end of our crank. And then we're going to put our crank into this hole over here. So let's put together the crank and the green piece. We're going to glue them together. So that's going to be a rigid joint. So go to joint. Make sure it's rigid. I'm going to choose the end of my nubbin. Okay, and I'm going to rotate around. That nubbin's going to fit into this hole, so I want to choose the bottom, not the top, the bottom of the hole. Make sure you choose the bottom of the hole. All right, now they should move together. 
All right, final thing, assemble joint. This time we want this to spin inside of this hole. So we're gonna change our motion. And this time we're gonna use revolute, which is revolve, like revolute. So I'll zoom in, I'll click on the center, oh, that changed position. Click on the center of this guy. That's actually the whole cylinder. You can click on the cylinder too, but it's just really easy to click on the end because it gives you a surface to work off of. And then the center of the cylinder right here. Now, don't hit OK. Notice that it's pushed inside here. All right, so we can pull this out. There we go, now it's out and you have a little bit of space, but if you come to the other side, now this side is in. If we pull it back this way, so that side's out. Now this side's in. We can't have that. So we need something between 0 0.2 and 0 0.3. So I'm going to put minus 0.25. All right, you can type that right here for your Z offset. And now you have a nice little fitment. And we're going to hit OK. If you did that right, it should rotate when you spin the crank. OK. Make sure you save that and show your teacher. Nice work.